I'm going to do a moles to number of particles problem for you. And just to remind you, moles to number of particles is a lot like uh, dozens to number of eggs. It's just that your dozen is, is much bigger, right? So uh, the problem we will do is uh, how many molecules? Uh -oh. It's purple. How many molecules in, what is it, 2.43 moles of H2O? With problems like this, it doesn't really matter what the particle is. is if you're told a number of moles uh, and you have to figure out the number of particles, it's always the same. Uh, you're looking at one of your two conversion factors. And uh, for, for these, it's this one because what you're really doing is multiplying. Just like if I said how many eggs are in 20 dozen, you would multiply 20 by your dozen. It's just that in this case, your dozen is a lot bigger. So you'll start with your 2.43 moles and you're gonna multiply it times your conversion factor. And in this case, when you look at them, again, uh, you want moles on the top and molecules, excuse me, moles on the bottom to cancel out molecules. Actually, cancel out moles over here. Excuse me. Uh, and but you want moles to cancel out, and you want molecules left when you're done. And so, which one of those is that? It's the one with Avogadro's number of molecules on the top and one on the bottom, because one mole is 6 times 10 to the 23rd, so you're really just multiplying this times 1 in a way that cancels out moles and replaces it with molecules. And now you just have a, a math problem. You just have a math problem that's complicated by the scientific notation aspect, but um, those of you watching at home, right, 2.43 times, uh, reminder of how we do this on uh, our calculators or on the Chrome calculator, uh, times 6.02 exponent button 23. And that tells me 1.46 times 10 to the 24th molecules. 1.46 times 10 to the 24th molecules. You ask yourself, does that make sense? That might be a little harder with our scientific notation, right? But in a way, like you're really almost just doubling this number, right? Two doubling plus a little bit. And so going up one more power of 10 but plus a little change, that seems about right. Uh, if it was exactly, uh, uh, if it was exactly two, it would be like 1.204 times 10 to the 23rd. So that accounts for a little bit more. And uh, it's all good, it's okay. Uh, 1.4 times 10 to the 24 molecules of the H2O. Yeah. And so that's that one. Uh, there, isn't, there isn't a problem that asks you to go from particles to moles, is there? Uh, I kind of feel bad about that. I failed you. Uh, so I'm going to make one up and do one right now since this is a help video. I'm going to move this over for the other board. Oh, is there? Okay, could you tell me what that one was? Uh, how many moles are in 1.55 grams of silver? Oh, that's, well, that's, that's mass to moles. Uh, I mean one where you, I'm going to make one up uh, just to do one example because people were having a real hard time with these in the other block. I mean like uh, 9.3 times 10 to the 47th is how many moles, right? That's, this is the opposite. This is like, I give you a number of eggs and I ask you how many dozen it is, right? And so you're, you're going to be looking at this conversion factor where you're dividing by Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is your group that gives you one mole, right? And so again, it's like, a number of eggs divided by 12 to figure out how many dozens. It's just that it's just a much more giant number. And, and so your logic is to divide by oops, uh, Avogadro's number. 
your conversion logic is uh, as follows. You 9.3 times 10 to the 47 uh, atoms of mercury, let's say. Doesn't all, it never matters what the substance is when you're talking about mole calculations with, with uh, particles because it's, it, it doesn't matter what the particles we're just talking about numbers. And we would do times the uh, conversion factor that has particles or atoms on the bottom and moles on the top. And what goes with that is one mole over Avogadro's number. So steps into the 23rd, atoms. And so that puts you in a situation where you divide by Avogadro's number. That's all this system is here to help you do. If you don't know how to figure out the logic of which to do, you're going to uh, want to do this, do this conversion uh, factor label method. Anyway, you end up with a fraction of 9.3 times 10 to the 47th atoms mercury. Actually, atoms is canceled out. Let's just do that before we write this out, right? Atoms, atoms, and 9.3 times 10 to the 47 moles, right, because that's what's left from over here, divided by Avogadro's number. So when I do that, remember, uh, clear 9.3 exponent 47 divided by Avogadro's number 6.02 exponent 23rd gives us 1.5, let's say just say 1.5 times 10 to the 24th. 1.5 times 10 to the 24th uh, moles. That's a lot of moles, but it is true. And so, and you can ask yourself, does that make sense? You, you sort of can. It's a little harder with two numbers in scientific notation, but uh, 9 divided by 6 is always 1 and a half. Uh, and then you have your 10 to the 47th, 10 to the 23rd dividing means you subtract the uh, exponents from each other. So it would be 47 minus 23, 24. That's, uh, but anyway, you can do that if the math allows you to consider that common sense. Does that make sense? Otherwise, hope for the best. I guess, let's just look at what would happen if you did it the other way around, is you would have multiplied it, and you would have ended up with 10 to the 70th moles. And so, yeah, you know, so yeah, if you had ended up with 10 to the 70th number of moles, and that's actually larger than the number of particles you had by 30 powers of 10, that is going to be your clue that you've gone off the rails logically. Uh, and, and so it isn't so much that you might be able to decide that this makes sense. I can sort of at a glance because I've been doing this for a long time. But, but again, if this said, you know, whatever times 10 to the 70th power, which is what you get if you multiply it instead of divide it, I'd like to think that you would stop and think, huh, that's more moles than I had particles. And that's like having more dozens than you had eggs, right? So anyway. That's that. There's a couple of those problems for you. I'm going to hit stop on this, and uh, we'll get back to it. Thank you very much.